Hey guys, it's Adam. I am here in San Diego at Comic-Con 2017, and it is now time for my official incognito walk. And this one is the culmination of perhaps the longest arc from obsession to completion of anything I have ever done. I will be walking the floor as King Arthur from Excalibur in armor made by my hero Terry English, who actually built the armor for the movie Excalibur from 1981. Oh my God, there's so much to go over. We're gonna cover this in an extensive thing on Tested, but for right now, I'm gonna get armored up and walk the floor. All right, we start with the legs. There we go. That one. Every knight needs a vassal. Norm is my vassal today. <laughs> Normally, in a suit of armor like this, I would be wearing a full uh, chainmail shirt, a hauberk. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, but I am not this time. Because this is a, more like a movie prop, I'm going to be wearing more like movie prop kind of chainmail. And that is where this stuff comes in. This is actually a plastic plastic chainmail developed for the Lord of the Rings films by my friends at Weta Workshop. And Richard Taylor sent me some chunks. Um, and those are going to be what I wear underneath uh, this armor. Okay. I am wearing my signature single contact lens so that I'll be able to you know, see inside the helmet, uh, which means I'm blind in one eye now, and I'll be blind in the other eye once I get that going. Okay. Now comes the top part of the chain mail. Again, this is plastic chain mail, which means it's super lightweight. Um, and I've got, sorry, Michael. I know, it looks weird right now, but this is what everyone's going to be wearing in the future. All right, so here we go. Uh, time for the breastplate. It's now time to put on the helmet, but in order to hide my identity in the helmet, I am going to be wearing this, a faceless mount on. All right. Who's in here? Nobody knows. Boy, if one was claustrophobic, this is not the costume to wear, because you are literally strapped in. OK, let's do the left arm. Yeah, you know, uh, these, these, this chain mail will not work for the arms. So I suspected this might be the case, so I actually purchased some knitted chain mail. This, is a technique that's been used for hundreds of years, really, to use knitting stitches to look like chainmail for stage productions. Um, they actually also did this on Lord of the Rings and for countless other movies over Hollywood history. Um, this is a fairly heavy knit, but it'll actually, I think it's gonna be quite comfortable. Yeah, I'm psyched about this. This will be great. Oh, so much better. Oh my God, so much more comfortable. Oh, good. See this? That T? That's Terry English's armor mark. And the A underneath it means that I assisted him. Oh, already I'm so much happier about this. Yeah, there we go. Movement feels good? Yeah, movement feels great. <laughs> you can't see, but I'm smiling. When I take pictures with people, I'll be smiling inside this, even though it totally doesn't matter. And through. Great. I know I don't myth bust for a living anymore, but one of the myths about armor is that it's really, really clunky and inhibits your movement. And I'm here to tell you that when armor has been fitted to you, Totally move as much as you want to move. It's pretty awesome. It's very, very flexible. This is one of the weirdly most comfortable costumes I've worn at Comic Con. All right, great. Okay, I can touch my face. I can reach my credentials. Yep. All right, time for the sword. Okay, now to complete this outfit, I need the sword. And the sword is a key build on Tested. 
Um, I built my own Excalibur. That's going to be one of our builds. But I can't take a metal weapon out on the floor. I'm taking a LARP sword, a foam sword. And we also have a one-day build about the treatment of this. But even before I hit the floor with a foam sword, I need to go get it checked in at the weapons desk so that they know I'm not bringing a dangerous thing out on the floor. But that is, let's see, whoop, the last part of the costume. Let's hit the floor. in at the horse check-in. I think that was our longest costume walk yet. Um, obviously, I did not have this on my costume. You might have noticed um, the line at the uh, weapons check-in was so long. We abandoned we abandoned Excalibur uh, in favor of just uh, walking among people. Uh, 
This was great. We heard lots of comments from people saying, oh, I can't believe what a trooper you are. The, uh, that must be hell to wear. And the answer is no, it's really, really comfortable. I feel breezes all the way through this armor. That was the longest walk because this is one of the most comfortable costumes I have ever worn. <sighs> We're gonna find more reasons to wear this in the near future. Oh yeah, no, I can't take the shoulders off myself. Thank you. Oh. God, could you imagine having to actually fight in something like this? What a nightmare. And this is like a, this whole suit weighs about 20 pounds, if that. Um, compare that to a real medieval harness, which would probably weigh in the neighborhood of 70 pounds, almost three times that much. And again, you know, when these things are custom fitted, you have a tremendous amount of flexibility, but holy hell, it is a commitment. All right, there it is. My lifelong dream to dress as King Arthur from Excalibur has been Fulfilled, yeah. And this is the tip of the iceberg. We went to Cornwall, England. I assisted Terry English in building every piece of this armor, uh, riveting it, polishing it, learning armor techniques from him. We covered it on a series of videos on Tested, as well as a one-day build for Excalibur, as well as a one-day build for Foam Excalibur. Oh man, this is basically a content juggernaut about to head your way. I will see you there.